Hello everyone, it's Chucks here, rebuilding my CR10, which has pretty much fallen to bits. Um, I have a E3D hot end that I bought off eBay, so they're around about eight or nine dollars each. I bought two just in case. Um, that's got a um, part that I got my friend Adam to make up for me and there's another part there he made up because mine kind of pretty well died and he also made up the, the blower, sorry about that, it just moved and it's a bit flimsy at the moment, I use the old fan there and I use this fan down here, I bought off eBay five of them for just over five dollars, so about a dollar each Australian. Now, when you're wiring this little sucker, this end here unscrews, okay? It unscrews to take off, and underneath it has um, it has uh, what is it, buddy? A moulded type system where it, 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 they've put glue in there, and it's hardened like um, araldite, and so you can't replace it. So you have to work your way down down the wiring and solder the wires on. Now the two wires you really need to pay attention to are these two here. They're your heat, heater end. Now what I did, I grabbed the the old old wires that used to go on top of these and I used a bit of heat shrink and I covered them up further up, as far up the, the line as you can go. And I just pushed them through. They're pretty easy to push through. And then I did the virtually, I used some heat shrink for the thermostat as well um, and the other fan you don't have to cut because it's the same fan that you had originally so you only have to do one cutting for this fan here to replace your old fan um, I virtually didn't use the original fan that came with the E3D which looks fantastic but it's too small so I threw that away and I put the original one on. So once I've fitted this, which won't be taking too long, I just have to put a zip tie on the other end of, on the other end. You need to put a zip tie there and screw that back in, that little sucker. And then I've just got to rig it all up and make sure it's all done properly. I've taken the tape off. If anyone out there knows where to get this tape, I wouldn't mind getting some, it's a, um, a cloth tape which would be really good and that goes for the extruder it goes on to the extruder I have ordered a metal extruder to replace that one now the problem was why my um, hot end died part of it was the screw fell off here in the middle of a print not very good and so it didn't get any of the filament up to the hot end I don't know whether that caused it, but it just went all all funny. And also, the filament I bought, the e, e Sun filament, seems to crack really easy. I'm not sure if it's really E Sun, but I'm, you know, for the price, it should be E Sun. Uh, so, other than that, I'll get it all going. I've got to upgrade the uh, the firmware on on here, so I'm going to have to open this baby up and uh, use a Arduino to upgrade it. Um, yeah, and that should work. And the reason I have to upgrade it is because this height is different to the old hot end. So we'll give that a try. It's got a spare one here, that's where, how it all comes in. Comes in like that. It's handy to have as spares. I have actually got spare... Um, temperature bits and pieces as well but I don't think I'm going to need them and I think I'm just wasting my money on those so don't bother buying them if you're going to buy uh, a hot end it's a waste of time and there's the old fan if I have to I can always change it into the other mount if that's better than the other one anyway that's it from me if you like this video please thumbs me up and all you guys out there Merry Christmas and please subscribe.